we're finishing up Autumn in Maneko's Night Market today, and this may be one of my favorite narrative sections of the game thus far. We get lots of character development moments in addition to the answers for some questions that have been on our minds about who's behind the agent presence on the island. As always, I hope you enjoy! Now, before we get into the second half of fall, the rest of the season, I wanted to share. <laughs> I mentioned this li this last episode and totally forgot to bring it, um, at well, I didn't bring it at that time, but I almost, I think I mentioned I was going to bring it to this episode. So I wanted to share with you all, um, hopefully you can kind of see, uh, but this is my Maneko's Night Market pouch, circa like... Oh my gosh, like 2016, 2017. I feel like it's been it's been a long time. So I wanted y'all to see it. See it's it's got regular use. Um just holding pens and miscellaneous little things. <laughs> just nothing too exciting, but uh I I carry with me pretty much every time I travel. This is actually my travel pen pouch um, for the most part. So I thought that would be kind of cool to share with you all uh, to show I, I, I liked Mineko's night, mar night market before it was cool. Uh, no, I just, I've been big fans of, of um, Yowza games for quite some time. And really, again, very just happy and excited for them that this, this title has come out after a lot of hard work. Um, and one thing that I haven't talked about is the fact that this is a team, this is a duo. Two people worked on this game um, primarily, and what's really cool is that they did take time, but they also wanted to make sure to take care of their mental health as they did it. And that's partially why it took longer, you know, than some games um, that, that you may be used to in terms of thinking about the cycle of how quickly games get made, which... No, I'm all for it. I think the industry is really powerful and really cool, and we can set a lot of good precedents if we're able to say, hey, we're going to let creators <laughs> create sustainably rather than force them to go through and eventually churn out all these creators and not have any senior members of the industry because they're all burned out and tired and leave after five years. So I think it's really nice that that they did take their time with it. Now, we are in the second half of fall. I don't think, I'm trying to get, get my, oh, what is this? Beetle brand ramen, um, we're definitely purchasing that. I don't think I have anything new to purchase currently. Really that main quest, that main focus is getting the temple fixed up, especially now that we can craft what we need for it. So I'll, I'll do that before we travel. And also make sure dad has what he needs, um, which, oh yes, yeah, ceramic bowls, that's right, okay. So I think what's gonna happen is um, we're gonna fix the temple first and then, and then we'll be able to see some progress with dad's stuff because then that's when the next uh, art bench will unlock. So let's go back. Oh golly, did I write down, it was six. Again, looking at six Nico flower boxes. Okay, so let me craft those. Golly, I can't, can't believe I almost forgot. I was almost, I was gonna leave in a second. So we have doo -doo 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 -doo. flower boxes. Okay, Nico temple flowers. I certainly hope that I have enough for all six. Now this is going to be a little bit of a process because we've got to do four slices of flowers six times. Six times four, 24. So we're going to go through, oops, again, one of the UI elements that I, I would love is just setting up a stack of craft tasks just so that you can not have to go through the entire menu the whole time, but we're going to beep. There's a car outside that this that just locked. Uh, but I'll I'll cut forward <laughs> so that you don't have to watch all six of these being made. While I was crafting, I also created two box flowers because that is a request we have from 
Granny Franny. So we're gonna do that as well as give the Bug Hunter Kid the Beetle Ramen. Yes, here you are. Yes! Mmm, you can really taste the thorax. I thought they didn't use real beetles in it. Oh, they use unreal thorax. <laughs> They're making incredible advancements in the plant-based imitation thorax department these days. Oh, you can have this in return. Two veggie juice. Beetle butt. Guess what, beetle butt? No, but seriously, I started collecting actual four real real life critters and I'm so excited. I have like a hundred bees now, so I could really use a beehive terrarium for them. I don't think my mom and dad are too happy that they're just losing my bedroom right now. <laughs> All right, and I think I do remember seeing the beehive terrarium. I don't think we have everything for it, so we're gonna have to figure that out and hopefully, hopefully we'll, everything we can get comes from the market. Hmm. Two box flowers coming right up. Oh, let me see here. Yay! Now, isn't that just about as close to lovely as you can get? I don't think I don't think it popped up unless I am just not telling the difference. But <laughs> maybe maybe it's a small bug and it'll come back in another day. Let me see what I have around here for you. Two black ramen. Oh, I really need to get my hands on a Hank the Hunk tote bag. Why do you need a Hank the Hunk? Keep your nose out of my business. <laughs> Granny Franny has the hots for Hank. I mean, Hank is a hunk. Uh, we'll craft that later, because what I want to do boop, boop, ba -doop, ba -doo, is go to the Nico Temple and see if we can complete this quest. I, I am hoping that we are there and that this is the last bit we need for each of the things, each of the three buildings that we've been making, but who knows? We could get a surprise and then they could want some more decor around the area as well. So let's start here with a statue. Here you go. We'll put it up right away. Dun da da da! Please accept this token of thanks. That's it. The Nico statue is complete. Yes. Yes. Well, I'll be. Ah, yes. This statue will forever stand as our monument to the great Nico. It's been ages since someone from the outside of our village has decided to help us out. Please take these as a small token of our thanks. All right. A couple of blind boxes. All right. I think I think we... Oh, they want to. Perfect. Well, good thing I have two perfect already. Oh. Please accept this token of thanks. Aha, the temple is complete. Yes, and this is the lady that we met in earlier. Incredible. Not only does this temple provide a place to show respect to the great Nico, but it will also provide housing for all of us here. Your contributions to our cause here will not be forgotten. Please take these as a small token of our thanks. Yay! And again, I think this idea of coming in and helping provide people with the things they need, the things they request, and have it all be community driven, I do think that's quite nice. I like that a lot about this game. Okay, two Nico Temple flowers. Wonderful, wonderful. Please accept this token of our thanks. So we got veggie juice. Huzzah, the garden is complete. Oh my, I did not think I would live to see the day our garden was restored. It's very important for our community's well-being to live in a place surrounded by peace. And this garden certainly does that. Thank you very much for your help here. Please take these as a small token of our thanks. We have so much food now. No excuse not to collect all the... Oh. Ooh, that's pretty. And protect this young traveler on her journey north. <gasps> and that completes the blessing ceremony on this fine autumn day. Thank you for all your help in restoring the Nico Temple back to its former glory. You are now granted free reign to travel to the Northern Island. 
But be careful. These lands could be inhabited by these visitors. The agents, as you call them. I'll be careful. Thank you for the blessing. You know what? Agents have been around every place we've been, so I'm not too concerned. I should let Bobo and Miyako know that I can go to the Northern Island. All right, let's do it. Oh, the whole Northern Island awaits. Ready for exploration, adventure, and who knows what we're going to discover. Because, again, I don't think, like, the drama of the first half of autumn was pretty big. The fact that we found Miyako, the fact that Hank, we know, was an agent for a very short period of time. Oh, hey, there you are, kiddo. You left quite a mess in your room before you left. I did? Yeah, you must have been quite in quite a hurry earlier. I don't recall. Well, I better head to work for now, kiddo. See you later, Lemonhead. Um, what? Did agents break into our house? Or my room, specifically? <gasps> someone must have been here. The back door looks as if someone... <gasps> Nico! Oh no, oh no, oh no. Okay, so my stuff is still here. Oh my goodness. Why they leave garbage in my room? I didn't have any soda there, so they brought it in and left it. <laughs> so rude. Nico? <gasps> Nico? Oh no. He's he's gone. I, I need to tell someone. Oh my gosh. Pet the cat. We have to do it for good luck. Um, okay, so let's see. What have we got? Bobo and Miyako. Hopefully we can find them and tell them what's going on. Oh, there we go. Oh, you made it back. So how'd it go at the Nico Temple? Well... <laughs> have I got a story for you. So I was given the blessing to cross to the Northern Island. Oh, score. Awesome, you gotta go. What are we waiting for? Well, I, um, what the heck is it? I think the agents might have been in my house again. What? Wait, I thought they were finished with their occupation of the village. It's hard to explain it, but, but, but something is missing. Something? Come on, spill it, Minex. What's going on here? Oh, we gotta talk. Come on, what is it? I... you... You can't tell anyone what I'm about to tell you. Ooh, I love secrets. Ooh, me too, me too. Well, Nico... Nico came to visit me. Oh, dun dun dun! <laughs> what do you mean? Like it was actually your dad in a costume, or what? No, he's the real... he's... let me... let me show you something. And this is where he's been hiding. You actually expect us to believe you've been hiding Nico this whole time? Come on, dude, be serious. I am serious, but he hasn't been here the whole time. He just appeared to me one day and, I don't know, I think he wanted me to help him get home. Nico needs your help? Do you believe you get the ego of this kid? Well, where do you think he went? You're actually buying this junk? I just, I don't know. I don't know where he went, but I'm sure the agents were here. And I have no doubts they've kidnapped him. So, how are we supposed to get him back? Okay, obviously I don't get your joke, guys. I guess you have to be a super sister to understand. Bobo, this is not a joke. Sure. I swear. So either you've been lying this whole time about Nico, or you're lying about him now. Either way, I don't have the time for this. I have mystery to solve. Come on, Bobo. Peace, Audis. No, Bobo. Peace, Audis, forever. <gasps> forever? I suppose you're leaving too. I mean, if what you're saying is true, we have to save him. You believe me? I... Dude... <laughs> I just don't think you'd lie about something like this. Thanks, Miyako. I think we should stick to the plan of heading to the Northern Island to look for the agent's HQ. That has to be where they took Nico. What about Bobo? 
Leave that to me. I'll talk to him. Thanks for believing me, dude. You got it, dude. <laughs> All right, new locations on the Northern Island are now unlocked. Now this is kind of interesting, locations plural? We've got, we've got places to explore. <clears throat> Excuse me, um, let's do it. <gasps> Whoa! Cliffside and the frozen lake. Ooh, ooh, frozen lake. All right, well, let's go to cliffside first. And then we'll go to frozen lake tomorrow. Because I want to see that in the daytime. I think that'll be really beautiful. New location discovered. All right, we've got a boat. We've got some palm trees. Hmm, doesn't seem like their HQ is here, but it does look like they're trying to ramp up their forces. They already have Nico. What are they looking for? I better find and eliminate their supply crate to stop whatever it is they're doing. Okay, so we can't go there. What have we got? Seven cats that we're gonna have to free. Are we gonna have to get onto the boat? <gasps> we're on a boat! Don't you ever forget. Oh, hello. Secret, secret boat happenings. <gasps> Whoa, oh my gosh, that scared me. <laughs> I thought maybe I'd be able to hide behind the box, but that was not the case. All right, let's go. Are we gonna have to get into a locker? Oh, <laughs> have to get into log oh my gosh this is some outlast sneaky scary game stuff I thought that guy was farting and I was like oh my goodness what the heck <laughs> why you fart so much um, how do I cause a distraction okay I'm gonna have to do something where that pipe maybe gets a little bit of a boost Oh, get in there. Oh, snap. Oh, God. Get in, get in the locker. Get in the locker. <laughs> I do like, this feels really good. Like there isn't sort of any delay that I'm feeling like I have to take into account when hiding oh. in the lockers. So that that is moving very smoothly and I love it. Oh, come on, there's no cat. There has to be a cat. Okay, there is, okay. Oh, here we go. Ah, okay, let me go back. I wonder if, I wonder if there's a, a, a wheel that I could have spun that I didn't notice before. So we're gonna do that, because it doesn't make sense I'd have to go all the way back. Seems like each room is relatively isolated. Okay, so if we go through here, aha. Aye. <laughs> All right. Whoa. <laughs> Doesn't move out of the way. What a dingus. What a fool. Okay, we'll just get in this one just to be safe. I think I could have maybe snuck into the locker right behind him, but what's the sense in doing that when we've got, you know, we've already lost, lost a heart, essentially. So I wonder if I have to wait for the timing, because there was an agent that came by here. Hi! Oh my gosh! Agent Overboard. Why would you hide all these cats on a boat? 
I'm on a boat and it's going fast and got a nautical theme pashmina afghan. Okay, I'm gonna go in here because I feel like I should have encountered someone by now. There we go. It's like there should have been someone. But I bet you there's one more cat around this loop in this figure eight somewhere. Probably down here. Or maybe not. No, maybe not. All right, maybe one more room, one more cat. Aha. Yeah, I know the agents were in my room because look at all this soda they drink. Find and eliminate the supply crate. Okay. Will it look like a big crate? Oh, this is cool. This looks like the supply crate. Goodbye! Hey, Bonesy. What happened over here? It wasn't me, for honest truth, Mugs. Well, boss ain't gonna be happy to hear we've got that we've already lost our supplies. Mugs, what is it, Bones? Do you think? Do you think the kids found us way out here? Think? We ain't paid to do no thinking, Bones. I suppose you're right. Come on, let's go meet up with the boss at HQ. Good plan, Mugs. <laughs> yeah, the agents have left the cliffside. Hallelujah! We can now dig in digging spots, and cats have returned to the cliffside. Now, I'm curious, what does a digging spot look like? Hmm. Like, is any old spot a digging spot? It doesn't seem like it. What's a, what's a digging spot? I see a cat here. Got some cute kitties on the beach. I was thinking maybe these little sort of plant sprouts could be digging spots, but no. I'm not seeing anything. Maybe maybe it'll be easier in the daytime or something. Oh, hold on. Was that just the cat? That was just the cat. Okay. Well, we'll return home. Pretty, pretty good. <gasps> what? Nico. Trapped in an office cabinet. Oh, no. Oh, poor Nico. We are coming to get you. Don't you worry. Dude, how'd it go? Well, the agents have left the area. Awesome. But unfortunately, no sign of Nico or their HQ. Less awesome. But I do have one more place to check out. Well, that's it. That's got to be where HQ is. How's everything with Bobo? Uh, I'm not quite sure, to be honest. I mean, he doesn't seem to want to talk about Nico anymore. It's like he never... Come on, dude. What? Oh, <laughs> oh man, that was so funny what you just said. We have the best inside jokes. What joke? All I said was, hey. Oh, it's the way you said it. Hey. <laughs> Classic now. Anyway, if you want to find him, you better go get yourself a disguise and then find some resources and... Blah, blah, I don't want to do any of that. Are, are you guys looking for Nico? <laughs> Nico. You two are still talking about Nico? We're hunting down the elusive yokai... Uh, what was it again? Well... I've been looking for Kappa. Kappa, that's who we're looking for. Anyway, we're having a private meeting of the Bobo's Mystery Hunter Solver People Inc. right now, so if you don't mind. Ugh. Right, Secretary? Secretary? I don't want to be your secretary. No, I don't want to be your secretary. <laughs> another another classic now zinger. Let's go find that Kappa. Oh. Bugs. Mad Bobo so obvious. Anyway, you better check out that other place you had in mind when you have a chance. I will. And watch out for Bobo for me, will ya? I will. See you soon, dude. Poor Bobo. 
He's just feeling, I bet he, he's feeling just upset and sad, both about you know the conflict of feeling lied to or deceived by, by Mineko. I think there's probably an additional layer of, oh, now Miyako and Mineko are friends and Bobo was friends with Miyako and they're still building back their trust and relationship and Bobo probably feels a little betrayed on that level too. So, ugh. So I'm wondering if I dig, that'll get me the clay for the terracotta planters and the ceramic bowls and everything. <sighs> but I don't know how to dig. In theory, I should be able to, but... Hmm. Dang it, I came out here, but I can't do anything because I don't have Nico. All right, time to sleep. Yeah! So what I'll do is I'll I'll go to the mountain top with the snow, uh, which is interesting because it won't be even winter yet. We're already getting snow time. What the heck? Uh, <laughs> so that'll be cool. I'm excited for that. And hopefully we'll be able to get clay up there. If not, we'll figure out how to dig at the beach. Greetings, villager. I heard the fantastic news that you were able to assist in locating that missing girl, Miyako. And gosh knows that could not have been easy with an easy task with these agents still running around here. So I have to commend you kids on your bravery. You went against the curfew rules implemented by the self-proclaimed authority, but you did it for the sake and safety of your missing friend. That takes courage. And sometimes we all need to break a few rules for the greater good, don't we? I guess so. Now that we know Miyako's disappearance was only a false alarm, but it wasn't, though, it wasn't a false alarm. My spidey senses are tingling about the market host again, which is really unfortunate because I didn't want the market host to, ugh, dang. I feel that things are starting to return to normal around here. Okay, thank you, game, for making the option. False alarm. Miyako nearly died. Also, yes, technically the agents are still around. Not cool. Oh, I didn't mean to minimize the ordeal that your friend went through, and I think we're all just glad things didn't even turn out even worse for her. I mean, I'm starting to hear interest from more and more visitors that are considering moving here, so that's gotta mean things are getting better. Or at least the perception is. Right, but like... Do you want them to actually get better or look like they're getting better? <laughs> There's a big difference between the two. Anyway, we've been hard at work preparing for the expansion of the village. See, this is what this is what I was talking about at the very beginning, where it's like, are what are ways tourism and and some kind of like this bringing in of people from the outside to like almost. Cre create something that isn't there. Um, oh gosh. I'm so disappointed in the market host. I'm really, I'm... <sighs> the southeast area of the village hasn't been used in decades. Just the fact that there's even interest in our town is a good sign we should start preparations. See, what is this like construction that we're already doing? Oh my gosh. In fact, I think Miyako's disappearance has made people more interested in our island than not. I guess bad publicity is still publicity. No, market host, I'm sorry. Everything you say is steadily decreasing the respect o meter for you. Ugh. Not that we would ever condone defying danger for the sake of promotion, of course, but hey, you never want to let a tragedy go to waste. Uh, that obviously did not come out right. What I'm trying to say is I'm glad the girl is okay, and I'm glad people are still interested in our island after all we've been through in recent times. So if you happen to run across any visitors, please let them know that we now have new vacancies for residents here. Stay safe out there, villager. Mm -hmm. So now we can find visitors at different locations. And admittedly, I'm feeling, again, there's this sort of conflict I'm feeling, and I do need to do a little bit of reading. Uh, this game has encouraged me to do some reading about the ways sort of tourism works, gentrification, honestly. We're creating this new sort of center of our neighborhood that's like, here's this really fancy new place for the visitors to come visit, and we're going to build fancy houses for them here. Um, 
What's that gonna do to the people who have lived here for generations? Ah. Ah. Okay, so we want beehive terrarium, raccoon donut. Okay. So we gotta get a raccoon donut for our friend. Dog bouquet, I need the one set of flour for it. Okay, yeah, we need dishware and the t-shirt. Okay, just needed a quick reminder for myself, but we are we are busy focusing on plot right now. We are going to go to the frozen lake, hopefully figure out how to get clay. And if not, we'll go back to the cliffside and get clay there too. Okay, so we got another supp supply crate and nine cats. Hmm. No sign of their HQ here either, but I should listen in and see if I can hear what direction they're heading. I should take out the supply crate and free the caged cats here too. Ooh, what's this? I wonder what the resource, it looks like maybe more of a different kind of lumber here. Whoa! Okay, I see what's gonna happen. There's a little bit of a, a little bit of a maze, ice maze going on. And I can see the foot, footprints of where they tread too. There you go, kitty. So let's go actually around this way because I think that'll lead us to the cat down south. Oh. Oh no! Did I just mess myself up? No! I think I did just mess myself up! Will it reset if I go down and back? No! Shoot. Did I just completely ruin my chance? We'll come back to that. I hope I didn't. That would be very bad. Okay, so there's ice coming out that way. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Okay. Kitty, there you go. You're walking that way, you're good. Can we go down this way? What is this? Ah, here we are. All right, this takes us. Not, not as much of a maze as I initially thought, which is kind of nice. Really, oh, I feel sad about the snowballs. I wish I could reset them. <gasps> no! How do I deal with them? Can I just like push it off? Okay. Whew, that was close. <gasps> no! You can't go in there. Oh my gosh scared me. I, I almost ran right into her. Hmm. Let me go back actually to the snowballs. I don't want to go too far up because I feel like I, I feel like that's not what I meant to do. I really should try and figure out the snowball situation first. Hmm. Okay. You know what? I'm gonna go, I'm gonna reset, uh, unfortunately. I, I, I just have a feeling if I go through it all, it's going to make me, when I enter and come back, go through everything again, so. I'm just gonna try this. I'm glad we got to see it at least in the, yeah, see in day t uh, nine cats left. <laughs> so I'm glad I didn't try to actually finish it all because that would have been just no fun having to go through all of it over again. Okay. Oh, here, let me go up here because that actually could be that cat. Oh, sleepy, sleepy, huh? Alright, 
got that one. Okay, this is going much faster because I know where everything is. Uh, we still have to go back to that snowball one though. Oh, here we are. On the way, we're gonna rescue that one. Okay, so we're back. There's the snowball. I will not make the same mistake again. It's kind of a shame there isn't like a reset though in this level itself, or at least one that wasn't readily apparent to me. Okay, so what did I do? Let's push this one. And now I have enough space to go in between. Whoo! And there should, I think, be just like two cats left? Nope. It's like second thoughts. Uh, let's, let's be cautious on this one. So there's that one. Maybe three cats. Because I didn't get the one up there. Oh, why did I go this way? All right, and this one we can just push all the way down. See, that would have been a good first puzzle to have instead of the two, unless I somehow just found them out of the order that the developers intended, because having one to push taught me, oh, I can't go back, I can't like reset it. I think if I had seen that, I probably would have been a bit more cautious with the other. <gasps> Shoot. <laughs> There we go. Uh, although there is a achie an achievement for being caught multiple times, so I wonder if I should just get caught just to achieve <laughs> the achievement. <laughs> uh. Huh? Oh. I swear, I had my eye on that crate the whole, most of the time. The crate, who gives a donk? We're all headed to HQ right away. Something big is shaking down. We're rolling out. Onward ho. Hey dummy, where are you going? HQ is to the west. Westward ho. <laughs> the agents have left the frozen lake and we now know where HQ is. To the west, to the west. We can now fish at fishing spots. And cats have returned to the frozen lake. All right. Well, let's see, let's go to a fishing spot. Now, there is no clay here. So I have a feeling the clay is gonna be what I get at the cliff side, which I need to figure out because that did not really make a ton of sense to moi. Okay, ice fishing, love it. Ooh, a bottle. No, but I wanna catch a fish. I suspect there's probably at least two or three new ones that we're gonna be able to get here. Yum, yum, yum. <laughs> I love fish. Oh, wind up toy, come on! I really love fish. This reminds me of when I lived in Alaska and we got to go ice fishing and that was really cool. I don't think I could fish anywhere except Alaska now though, because it. Definitely spoiled me because you would just catch fish so readily um, And we would catch especially in the fall We wouldn't go ice fishing in the fall because there was no ice, but what we would do is we go salmon fishing There is nothing in here uh, We would go salmon fishing and we would catch salmon fillet them and then we'd have a bunch of salmon in a freezer Ready to go so that we could have fish over the winter because groceries were quite expensive. There we go. Oh, a conger eel, which is what we needed for the gift for the fisher, fisherman. I forget his name. But yeah, oh, we ate salmon all the time. I got so good at making salmon. Salmon jerky, salmon, baked salmon, pan fried salmon, all different flavors. But again, kind of, it kind of wrecked it for me because now when I come or when I came back to the lower 48. <laughs> it was, I just, I was like, I can't do the store-bought kind. I want freshly caught, you know, prepared by my own hands. <laughs> the 
fishing is pretty abysmal tonight. The 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 fish are not biting. I'm glad we got the eel though. I would love to at least get two because then I can uh, at least donate one and complete the quest with the other. We're getting very close on introducing more visitors to the village. Yeah, and I don't think all visitors to the village are bad, but I think it is important to think about the impact you have in moving to a space what you do when you go there. Uh, another example is of when, especially now that so many tech workers can work remotely and are living in places like San Francisco, for example, the tech industry is there. It's caused the cost of living to raise exorbitantly. And so the people who've lived there for, again, generations are being pushed out because it's just impossible for them to keep up with the- Whoa, sea slug. To keep up with the rise of that cost of living. And so I think there's a balance. And again, it goes back to the question I was thinking about in the first episode itself. Is there a way to do that kind of growth and to bring people- And I got a fish, what? To bring people into your village sustainably, whether it's for tourism or to just grow the economy of your space. Because I think having more people is really cool. But there's got to be a way to do it mindfully. Alright, I just wanted one more conger eel. We're getting close. Now I'm going to be finishing out my stamina because... Uh, when we get back, it'll be night, and we won't be able to really do anything else during the day, so... Or during the rest of this full day. Maybe pick a few flowers, and that's kind of it. Lots of cuttlefish. All right, this is our last cast. Oh, wind up fish toy. Start with a whimper, end with a whimper, but at least at least we got a cuttlefish and conger eel and what was the other one? Sea slug in between. That's pretty cool. I did predict. I was like, there's probably two or three new fish here. We got three new fish. I don't know if there's more, but oh, yes, return home. Did I accidentally go? Nah. No, Nico. Oh my goodness. Wait, mess up with our files. Oh, Nico's singing the song. That's sweet. Poor Nico. Well, anything? Unfortunately, no HQ there, but I believe I overheard the agent saying they're headed west. West? They're no doubt heading to the old Mont Fugu Island Daily Newspaper Building. Bobo must have been right. Come on. Another, oh, yep. Another chance at rubbing in our faces he's, that he's got a new friend. Do we always have to hang out where Boneko and Miyako are? What? Never mind them. We're hot on Kappa's trail. I know he went this way. Isn't this exciting? Dude, I know what you're doing. What? Looking for Kappa? Yeah, you're right. Let's go now. I saw him go this way. Shh, but you never saw me. Oh, no. Anyway, let me know after you check the old Mount Fugu Island Daily Newspaper building out west. If the agent's HQ isn't there, I'm not sure what options we'll have left. I'll find it. Be careful out there, dude. If that's where they're all planning to meet up, the place is likely going to be crawling with agents. Hey, I've made it to this point. I can handle it. For Nico. For Nico. Good luck out there, Mineko. You can now visit, huh? <laughs> From the bus stop. <laughs> huh, huh, huh? Sounds like a guinea pig. All right, the bus is no longer running tonight, but I do have a little bit of energy. Oh, we are staying zoomed in, I see. Um, oh, there we go. I, I wanna just use the 
little bits of energy to pick the flowers I can. Ba 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 ba. Oh yes, I forgot. And we can attract some villagers. All right. I'm curious then if we'll be able to finish the story sooner than the seasons do a full year cycle. Uh, and like winter is bonus content, you know, post, post, um, what's the word? Post ending content. Because it, it feels like we're getting so close to the end, uh, but maybe not again maybe there's going to be stuff thrown in that i just i have not predicted there are elements like the um nico temple side plot that we got that i did not account for and that definitely took up half the season so am i not going to clean my room can i clean my room okay i can <laughs> there we go uh let's put on I don't know, I feel kind of poetic in putting on the Nico outfit. <laughs> Maybe I can distract them as the real Nico runs away. Let's -a go! Uh, yes. I wonder. Oh. Kind of want to try going cliffside just because. I want to see if we can dig, but I also really want to check out this, so we're going to do that. New location discovered. Oh, okay. Are we going to have to break into the building? This must be the where the agent's HQ is. The old Mount Fugu Island Daily Newspaper Building has to be around here. I think it's the big building behind the trees, <laughs> Mineko. Oh, I love the little pigtails poking out the back of the hood. Hey. Oh. How'd you find this place? None of your business. Well, I'm gonna do with you what we should have done with you a long time ago. Oh, God. What was that? Oh, my God. What? No, what the heck is that? K Kappa? No thanks. What? Bobo. Yo, Manex. Bobo. We're both in cosplay. <laughs> Mythical creature cosplay. What are you doing in that costume? Well, me and now weren't looking for the, we're the looking for the Kappa and we weren't having much luck. So I kind of thought, well, I thought I'm, this might drum up some interest in the Kappa mystery. So you're creating a hoax. What? No, I just thought I'd dress up as Kappa to fool people into, well, yeah, a hoax. <laughs> I don't even believe in Kappa to be honest. Well then maybe you should be mystery hunting with us instead. Do you believe me about Nico? Of course. But why didn't you tell me earlier? I was scared. Nico was scared. But you still could have told me. I wasn't going to tell anyone. I know. And I wanted to. But I promised Nico I wouldn't tell anyone. And now he's gone and I don't know what to do. He has to be in the building here. I'm sure this is where they brought him. We need to find him. Come look for him with me. Like old times. I can't. Nico appeared for you. He made himself known to you, not me. He chose you. Chose me? How do you mean? That's what Nico does. When my gran was about our age, she used to be a real little runt. <laughs> not appropriate to say, Bobo. Like me. She got made fun of a lot in school and had trouble making friends. She used to swear by the story of how Nico came to visit her one night, and how Nico taught her to learn how to appreciate herself and all that sweet junk. And after she gained some confidence, she started standing up for herself, and I, I always thought Nico would visit me someday too, but he never did. 
So when you told us about how he came for you, I believed you right away. It's not the first time I heard that story. So I don't know. I, I guess I was jealous of you. But he chose you, and he wants to help you. And I have to respect that. Bobo. My little sweet cherub. Well, right now, I owe it to Nico to help him, too. And thanks for your help. You really saved me there. That's what friends do, dude. Go get him, Manex. So you're not mad at me anymore? Forget that. That's old news. You have a Nico to save. Right. Good luck in there, Manex. Thanks again for your help, Bobs. Peace outies. Oh, I love Bobo so much. What a sweet, sweet kid. You know, I what I appreciate is he had his moment. He had he was jealous. He didn't feel good, but when it came down to it, he was very okay coming back and saying he understands, he's sorry, and they're friends. And I think that's a really beautiful thing. Hang in there, Nico. Let's go. Oh, we've got agents everywhere. I'll need a key card to advance to the next floor. All right, this is like breaking into... Oh, and we've got passwords. Nope. We've got four computers we need to hack, probably one with a number, and we've got one key card that we need to swipe. What? Hmm, looks like this vent is just wide enough to fit inside. Let's do it. Jump into the vent. Oh, hello. All right, we're gonna sneaky sneak sneak. Someone had a long night gaming. See the Mountain Dew, the potato chips. This computer has been corrupted. There are three more computers on this floor. Okay. Well, happy to do a little bit of corruption. Haven't gotten any any uh, passwords though. Okay, so I see the key card over there, so I'm gonna have to figure out a password. computer has been corrupted, okay. Oh. <laughs> I feel like I went a little bit roundabout of a way there. There's a hole. Computer has been corrupted. Okay. Oh. Okay. There. See the one computer left. Down here. There's a locker to sit in. Perfect, but I still have no numbers. That's what's a little bit worrisome. Where will we get the number to unlock that door? Maybe once all the computers are corrupted, I'll be able to get the number. Find the key card to advance to the next floor. Oh, I but jump in vent. Oh, here we go. All right. Let's look through their files here. Key card locked combination 7825. What could this possibly mean? Well, let's write that down just in case they don't give it to me anywhere. 7825. All right, we'll wait for this agent to come through. We'll follow, go in the locker, zippity doo dah, back up to the key card area. So seven, eight, two, five. Yes. It worked. All right, 
we found the key card to floor two. We are making good progress. Hopefully floor two is not as big, but I'm sure it is. Ah, uh, yep. Ooh, it's a little bit bigger. Or at least it feels like the hallways are longer. So we're going to be looking for another code again. Oh. Brilliant. Love it. Feeling sneaky. Three more computers. Two more computers. And... Alright, I'm gonna have to wait here. There we go. like to check on <laughs> you like to really make sure the computer hasn't been corrupted okay I think do they walk back ever doesn't look like it okay find the key card and it looks like there's a vent here that'll take me to the file room. Ah, oh, yes. Let's look through their files here. 8748. 8748. Okay. Do, 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 do. Whoops. Nope, I want to jump in the vent. Definitely want to jump in the vent. But I will also definitely be sneaky. Okay. It was funny, I could see myself getting a uh, sinking into the floor a little bit right there. The second floor isn't very stable. The the uh, agents need to up their, their budget. So eight, seven, four, eight. Dum -ba -da -dum. This is definitely the biggest stealth mission we have done in our entire time on Mount Fugu Island. I bet you there is one more area that we'll have to get sneaky and get into, and that is the mountain itself actually getting Nico home I kind of forgot about that so that'll be something that we'll have to do as well oh okay I should wait okay good 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 oh interesting Oh, and there's another one right there. Okay, I have to be careful. I think I'm gonna have to follow it back. <laughs> oh, is that gonna, ah, dang it. Could I have run through that? Oh, well, it, it was very nice to me, so that works out okay. <laughs> I must have hit the whatever marker point they needed. I must have been able to, to, yeah, okay, I should have been able to run that direction. Oh, whoops, I should have. There we go, awesome -o. Right, there's two more coming up. Ooh, 
shucks. Okay. Once again, checkpoints are very, very gracious to me. <laughs> okay, so that's where the key card is. Now, here's the thing. This is the closest I've ever gotten to actually getting caught uh, and not being able to do what we need to do. Please don't go this way. Okay. Whew. I think I see the file. Oh god, oh god. <gasps> Shoot! No! Oh no! You've been caught three times. Oh, I can try again? And it'll let me try from this floor? That's really nice. Okay. Oh, I was super stressed. Well, at least it's not super fun having to do all of it over again, but at least I know now. Okay, so I'll fast forward through these first few since you already saw the process. You already saw how the sausage got made there. Just got caught up to where I was. Uh, one of the scanning cameras did get me again, but that's okay. Um, whoop. What's your pattern? You're gonna come back walking to me, I bet. Yep. Whoa. Okay, and this is the last one, and there's the vent. Perfecto. Oh, nice. See, and this even looks like the room that Nico was trapped in. We have so many rooms just filled with file cabinets. So, seven, six, two, nine. There we go. all the way back. That's the stressful part. Ah! Oh! Thought I was low enough. Oh, but again, it kind of sets you back at the beginning of wherever you were, so that's, that's kind of nice, honestly. And now, as long as I don't get caught on my way back, we should be golden. Perfect. So what was that? 7629? I like the dialing uh, and the input of the codes. That feels really satisfactory. Okay, fourth floor. How many floors does this have? I mean, a newspaper building. <laughs> Golly, must have been rolling in the dough back in the days of, of the newspaper, the golden age of the newspaper. Okay, we've got former computers and another key card. My goodness. Let's see. <gasps> oh, jeez. But, oh, interesting. The, um, <laughs> the, um, lives reset per floor. So they're, they're being very kind with us. I was curious because throughout the whole rest of the game I was like why would, where there's because there's an I think it's get caught 20 times by the agents uh, as an achievement I was like why would people have gotten caught 20 times I see now <laughs> I see okay two more computers now I have to be careful not to run too quickly before the agent, before the, uh, what is it, crumply stuff on the ground before the trash is gone. Okay, we've got two more and I have the other computer in my sights. Does this vent just go over to the side? Yes, it does. Oh! Oh 
Wait till it does one more loop around. There we go. Same with this one. Ooh, that light <laughs> shines right through the wall. I bet you that would have got me if I stood right there. Okay, so we also have to figure out where the file cabinet location is. I suspect this will be it. Yep. Got my pen. Last code. 4570. Let's do it. I love how none of the plants have been watered. The agents, they haven't come here to care, take for the place. It's totally empty. Woo! They just want a space to have as a secret base. Ooh, cutting that close. Oh shoot, went the wrong way. <laughs> I just love playing Ring Around the Rosie with these agents. That's really why I'm doing this. Okay, I gotta be careful because one will come around the corner, just maybe, okay. Usually games and game developers will do things in odd numbers, so threes and fives. So I wonder if this was for floor, perhaps the last floor, or the fifth floor will be our last. Maybe? I'd be a little surprised if we didn't see Nico on the, the fifth floor. Yep. My guess was correct. I think we're on the right floor here. What's going on? <gasps> no! I... Didn't want it to be you. Why did it have to be you? You. Of course it's me. How did you get up here? What are you doing here? Me? I work here, of course. Enough with the lies. I know this is your HQ. I mean, he wasn't lying. He does technically work here as the agent lead at this point. Well, you're right, this is HQ. Night Market HQ, to be exact. Thanks in no small part to you specifically, we've seen such wonderful boom in visitors and residents to the island in recent times. And of course, that has led to an increase in their attendees to the night market, coming in with all their sweet, sweet mainland money. Where did you take him? Him? Nico. Where did you take him? Take him? I didn't take Nico from anywhere. Nico goes where he pleases. I know you took him from my house. I honestly have no clue what you're... <sighs> I guess there's no talking you out of it. I did hire these agents to investigate the Nico sightings. They were cooperating with me at first, but little did I know they had their own motives for finding Nico and they were using me to fund their operations. They began to threaten the safety of the inhabitants of the island so that I would give in to their demands. They were even caging cats. So you can do the right thing now. Yeah, like, you're not as maybe inherently bad as I thought. You're still very much a capitalist, but you know what? I can, we all live in a society. I can understand you wanting to get ahead and bringing money into the economy here. I don't necessarily agree with what you're doing, but I can get that. You have a chance, night market host, to do the right thing. Will you take it? Let. Him. Go. I, I already... Stop. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Greetings, agents. We were just talking about you. Hush you. Your job here is done. The two of you let us ride to Nico. He's ours now. Nico doesn't belong to you. Well, not for long anyway. From private wildlife collectors to some of the biggest zoos around the world, we have quite a lucrative bidding war for Nico going. You wanted to sell Nico? Was this your plan the whole time? 
I, I promise, I had no idea about this plan. This is none of your concern. You're no longer needed here. Agents, escort these two out of the building and deal with them. My eye boss. Oh my god. We know that they have no scrup scrupules. They have no qualms about hurt hurting children or the safety of children. So this is not good. So the agents, are they like their own motivators? They don't have a head honcho hosting them? Who would who is funding the agents otherwise? Like we know we know market host is funding the agents, but who is leading the agents? How do they know to find Nico? How do they organize? So how do you want to do this? We could toss him off a cliff. I'm thinking we take him out to the middle of the sea in a boat. Ooh, I'm liking this. Then we fill their pockets with rocks and toss them overboard. Aw, oh, boat ride, I like that. We never do fun things like that anymore. Oh, I'll make sandwiches. Hey. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Hank. The hunk is here. Nay, hey, look, it's all our old pal Hanky. How's tricks, Hanky? Still a quitter as usual? I ain't your pal. No, let these two go before you regret it. Is this agent reject trying to threaten us? We've all had enough of you. Yeah, this is our town, not yours. You let that girl go right now. You're not hurting any more children here. Yeah, beat it, jerkwads. That's enough out of you, Bobo. Oh, so No, Bobo is right. You agents have been nothing but a curse to this town since you arrived, and we do not want you here any longer. Where the heck is he? Nico escaped. Don't play dumb. You know what I'm talking about. Nico, where did you hide him? Oh, wait, wait. What's all this about... Nico? You're all too late. I've already released him to the Nico followers of the Nico Temple, and I do believe they're on their way to Mount Fugu. Nico is already on his way home to Mount Fugu. Ugh, we're wasting our time with these fools. Setting up to Mount Fugu, you say? Come on, boys, let's roll out. We have some preparations to make. Mm hmm here we go to Mount Fugu, y'all. Wait, what's going on here? Nico is real? Someone better explain what's going on here immediately. There's no time, Gran. You heard him. They're gonna get him. So how are we supposed to do this? We could send the agents a strongly worded letter to urge them to stop. Oh, oh yes. Perhaps we use several exclamation marks in the letter. Now that should scare the socks off their faces. Should we label the letter urgent? <laughs> Oh, oh no, Granny Fanny, oh my goodness. Oh, I like it. Absolutely brilliant. What the heck are they talking about? Forget them. We're going to have to cut the agents off before they make it to the top of Mount Fugu and find Nico. Well, we better go right now. They already have a head start. There's no way we're going to be able to beat them on the foot this rate. We're going to have to take to the skies. <gasps> Hot air balloon. Hot air balloon. Hot air balloon. And we could use red ink to scare. Hey, we we gotta go. Where do you think? We have no time to waste. We need to find Nico before they do. And how are we supposed to? We need to build a hot air balloon. You know that spot in town by the giant Nico statue? Oh, that seems like the perfect spot to launch the balloon from. I'll get to repairing the broken bridge to the launch area. Wait, are you all on board with this plan? Hey, it's a better plan than sending a strongly worded letter. Besides, it's our duty pr to protect Nico, just as he's been protecting all of us here since the beginning. I've never told anyone, but back when I was carrying Bobo, I could always feel the presence of a giant figure right over my left shoulder. It wasn't a menacing pre presence at all, but a very comforting and calming one. Of course, when I would look behind me, there would be never anything there. Well, except for a trail of cats that would inexplicably follow me around town at the time. I stopped feeling the presence of this figure immediately after Bobo was born. I guess that could have been Nico this whole time. I'm a Nico baby! 
<laughs> Much better than a Nepo baby. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm a Nico baby. <laughs> You're my Nico baby. Cute. Huh, as far back as I can remember, I've always wanted to be a baseball player. I actually came really close to playing professionally, that is, until I blew up my knees in my last year of high school, which ended all my dreams. It was a dark period in my life where I felt I had lost all purpose. All I ever wanted was to play baseball, and I could no longer do that. I had no backup plan. And like Bobo's mom, I swear I could feel this giant figure watching over me through my rehabilitation. Even though I knew I never would recover enough to play competitive baseball again, it gave me the confidence to know I could overcome anything. I... I guess that guiding figure had to have been Nico. When I was a little girl... Okay, okay, you all saw Nico when you were younger, we get it. <laughs> oh, Bobo's right, but also, oh my god. <laughs> Your stories are all valid, but we're losing time here. Well, we should head back to the village and begin preparations immediately. Let's get to it, folks. <laughs> that was really good. I will say, the writing, again, slower in the beginning, but now that we've really sunk in, um, the more I've played this, the more strength I have seen in the writing and in what the game mechanics have done to, again, blend in what's been going on. I think the dissonance that I had felt earlier with being like, oh, we're going to focus on the market, focus on crafts and bringing people in, I think... Uh, in its way, the game has been addressing that now with this conversation of the night host of the market and sort of his aspirations and why he's been wanting to do it. Uh, I think, yeah, this has been really good. I'm, I'm very, very happy with how the story has been progressing so far. This is great. Uh, did you too hear the big news? <laughs> that you're a Nico baby? <laughs> you did hear. Congratulations on your success. Are you jealous? Oh, yeah, super jealous. I don't know how we're going to go on living. Ah, you can admit you're jealous. It's all over your faces. Look, look at your faces. <laughs> hey, look, look at your faces, though. <laughs> Wowee. We're only in the third week of fall. <laughs> so let's change our outfit. I'm glad we wore, it was good luck, this Nico outfit. So let's put back on our classic, because I do, I do like the classic Mineko outfit. I think it's very, very good. So fancy. Let's collect some fur balls. We do have the night market that's coming up in a couple of days, but I imagine our next major quest focus is gonna be the supplies to build the hot air balloon. Probably. Or maybe not. Are we, are we? Uh, maybe it takes a little bit to fix the bridge. Let's see. We do have to deliver the fish that we caught as well. Uh, if, if there's nothing to do quite yet, I think we're gonna go cliffside just to see if I can figure out digging. That, that getting the clay is I think gonna be a big priority. <gasps> Whoa, Hank, do you do that so fast? Hey, Mineko, good timing. I just finished the repairs on the bridge to see the Nico statue. Let's head up to the spot. The spot where the Nico statue is. The Nico statue spot. Uh, again, the Kronk influence on Hank is strong. Ah, oh, yes. This looks like the perfect spot to set up. The spot for the Nico hot air balloon to rescue Nico. Looks like we'll need to gather a number of provisions to build this hot air balloon and get ready for the big trip to Mount Fugu. Wowee! All right, so donate. Bamboo, wood, floor. Okay, can we donate 50 bamboo? Paper, oh my gosh. We can donate the wood. We're not gonna have everything, but... Washi paper and tent. Okay. We can do that. We we have done pretty well, though. I will say, proud of the saving. And I think I, I had the tent, and I just sold it because I was like, eh, I'm not going to use the tent for anything. <laughs> so I'm really glad uh, I made it. I know I can make it, and we'll make it again. 
So let's, speaking of make, make a couple of donations. We're gonna donate the sea slug and the cuttlefish, not the conquer eel though, because I want to give that as a side quest to my buddy. Although two more donations in the museum will open officially. See, that's kind of nice. One more donation. Oh, do I do it? Do I do it? Yeah, I might as well. I'm here. I can catch. I caught a conger eel once. I can catch it again. Yay! I'm so excited. We are very close to having a full downtown of museums open up. Got a box of blind box. And did we? I think we did purchase some food at the last night market that we can donate. Oh, we most certainly purchased some food. Okay. I don't think we'll have enough this time around for the museum to open. Maybe five more. We might, actually. Very cool. Since this, these do take a bit of time, so what I think I'll do is uh, fast forward through the next couple. Oh, that bowl is really cute, though. Oh, wait, hold on. I don't want to give away the beef ramen because I think I need to give that to a friend. No, I already gave that. I already gave that one. That's why she wants fine dining cutlery now. I like how I was like, I'm gonna fast forward, and I totally did not. <laughs> I can't forget to get the raccoon donut from Miyako. Mmm, sour candy sounds so good. Yay! Okay, we can still c collect items to donate. I'm going to. I still have a couple more that I would like to donate today. Uh, or just one more, because I think the kitten candy, kit kitten candy, is one that I've already donated, as you can see. It's right there next to the other snacks. Oh, I've gotten a few folks asking as well if I'm playing on PC or Switch. I am currently playing on Nintendo, or not Nintendo Switch. I'm currently playing on PC. So I think a lot of the stuff that folks are encountering, like even on PC, you can see some of the the bugginess, some of the rough edges, like the layering of the assets is sometimes a little bit off. Um, the loading screens have improved. Uh, there, I think there was a little bit of a bug back in summer when we had the outfits that didn't show up for some time. So there's definitely some bugs that we've encountered. Um, I do know that Switch doesn't update as frequently as PC. Usually developers will push updates quite frequently to PC. Switch takes a little bit longer. There's a bit more of a sort of time period that goes through a review period that happens to push updates to Switch. So I think what the developers are doing, and this may be a bit belated, I don't know when they're gonna, planning to put out the Switch update, but what they're going to do is probably have a bunch of fixes that they do on PC, test, vet, make sure work okay, and then do a big push on Switch. So if they haven't already done so yet and you're playing it and you're like, oh my God, my loading screens are so rough. These things are happening. I don't know if it's worth kind of sticking it through. And that's why you're watching these videos to see if it's worth it. I personally think so. Again, even with some of the rough edges, I think the story of this game has been wonderfully written and super charming um, it's just weighty enough for me that it's got things that's encouraging me to think about which i really appreciate i love it when when games do that when i can connect them to things that i'm thinking about in the real world but also it's charming enough that it still feels very playful and fun and i don't feel like it's Sometimes you're in the mood for games that are heavy, that kind of like sit with a heavier weight. And sometimes you want games that are charming. And I think this holds at least a lot of charm where if you don't want a game that's like super heavy or that will make you like cry really hard at the end, I don't think this will do that. So that's kind of nice, at least so far. All right, so we're gonna try digging. I don't know where to get clay. <laughs> <sighs> Oh, 
And I think what's been really... That's the one thing I'm like, oh, come on. Digging, digging is the one thing that so far has not stuck with me. Please. Oh, thank goodness, Clay. Okay, we're gonna... Sp well, we're gonna be spending a lot of money. Oh, dang, $20 a pop for three pieces of clay. Oh gosh, that's expensive. It's expensive clay. I wish I took note of how much clay I need for some of the for some of the crafts. <laughs> so I think what I'll do is just spend a bunch of money and ooh, five, heck yeah. Cause I think we needed a couple of different things. Five terracotta boxes, which that's a lot of boxes. <laughs> uh, we needed cutlery for dad and we need cutlery for my friend. I will say, so I did it just a couple more times, I will say the the rate seems to be a little bit faster than the very first time I tried digging, so I don't know if that first time was just very unlucky, <laughs> and I just really did not get a good run uh, the couple of times I tried digging, or if maybe that also got an update as well. So let's do ceramic bowls, because that's super important for dad. Oh, shoot. What? Oh, God. Oh. Oh, my goodness. That's... That's... <laughs> that scared me. Uh, it went so fast. All right. We needed fancy dishware, which needs two... Is that black ink? My color. Uh, six clay. Oh, my God. 30, 30, okay, well, I don't have enough for, uh, oh, what, no? Uh, I don't have enough for all of five, I think. I'm just gonna be able to make, like, maybe one more. Maybe I should make, then, the fancy, oh, I don't have enough for fancy dishware. Oh, sad. I don't even have, I don't even have the ink for the terracotta planter. I do have the fish though. I think I can just what you call it? Um, squeeze some more <laughs> red snapper. Okay, we could do oh, we can't oh, I forgot we don't have enough for fancy dishware. So we're gonna do terracotta planter and we'll just have to focus on washi paper and what to call it? Washi paper clay. That's what we need. So we've made two of the five. Oh, I keep coming out here out of habit. And Nico's not here. Ah! Let's do... Let's see. Maybe I will mulberry orchard Let's do that. We spent a lot of money on clay today. So I'm gonna go around, harvest the orchard. Oh, hello. What a beautiful island it is here. I could see myself in a place like this. I used to be a baker on the mainland. I'd love to bring my expertise here someday. If only I could find my chef's hat. Oh, shoot. I think I saw, what's her face? The the. Old lady was selling a chef's hat. Did the old lady take his hat and now is trying to sell it for profit? <laughs> we'll have to we'll have to return with the chef's hat uh, once that happens. Oop. Okay, so let's go and create some washi paper. Only four. Oh, this is gonna take a minute. Oh, that's all right. Let's go to bed. Now, we've got the market coming up soon. Uh, I don't think we'll have too much story in between, so what I'll do is just do my foraging and we'll, I think, probably just fast forward to the market. That seems like it'll make sense.
So it is market day, but I did finish the terracotta planters. I thought I had five terracotta planters. Do they need to be perfect? Because that's five. Oh, I have to have five of one type. Oh my gosh. Okay. Well. Dang. <laughs> The pottery mini game, I have failed it twice already, which is kind of wild compared to the other ones. I think it's got a timing component that I am just not very good at. Okay, well, let's see if we can make a couple more. We still haven't made the ceramic bowls. Um, well, we don't have enough dye. That's the problem. That's the limiting factor because we actually have a decent amount of clay. I spent basically the last day just digging for clay. I have no money because I'm digging for clay. Uh, I think that's the resource that feels least good to me. Uh, not simply because I'm not as big of a fan of the digging mini game, but partially, what was I going to get? Die. So let's go to the dock for fish. Partially what I don't enjoy as much is the fact that you have, I think it's just tied to a resource your money whereas the other collection resource collection elements aren't tied to money and so I think it's interesting because this is like a game central quest central thing that we need to get is this clay and all of the terracotta stuff uh, and it feels not great that it's tied to just yeah it's it feels like there's more of a barrier to getting it than anything else and I'm personally not a fan of that. What a beautiful island it is here. I could see myself in a place like this. I'm currently traveling the world to discover great unknown artists all across the globe. With all the cats on this island, I'm wondering if you know of any artist who has painted any interesting sumi-e flower paintings. Why, yes, I have. I am such an artist, but uh, I will send that to you later. We gotta catch some fish. We gotta get some more tuna dye and snapper die, and I bet you those are not what we're catching today because that's what we need. <laughs> that's what my luck's been this run. I knew it. I knew it. I wonder, I mean, I have enough cash. I wonder if I'll just go and buy some of the dye and fish myself just at the market just to expedite it at this point. If they have, if they have the dye there, if they have the fish there, I probably will. Uh, just to help keep things moving along. Yeah, the fish have not been biting just today, me playing. Seems like when we were ice fishing, they weren't biting. Here, they're not bi biting. <laughs> All right, that was, that was it. That was our fishing journey. Got a couple, got a couple of fish, but really nothing uh, to the level that I was hoping we would get. But that is not for us to worry about because now is night market time. And I am so excited. Although I'm not so excited to be hanging out with this, this Yahoo. Okay. Oh, here we I'm not crafting too much because right now I'm in resource saving mode. Okay, it doesn't look like they have the flowers we need. They do have some red snappers, so I may snap that up myself. And the night market has been upgraded. What got built? Oh, what? Oh my gosh, the boy band boys are here? Um, excuse me? What? And a new booth has arrived. Oh my gosh, we have video games. Welcome, welcome to the third night market of autumn. This week's night market main event is the ghost hunt. Aye! I was also thinking, aye! Make sure to stop by the stage before the end of the night to catch the ghost hunt. All right, eat, shop, play, enjoy. All the usual drill. All right, so let's call, oh shoot! No! The, the, the scroller moved. Oh, okay. Okay, display items. <laughs> we are not gonna just blindly ring the bell. Uh, again, 
So I built five terracotta planters, but the thing is, my neighbor didn't accept it, and I think it's because we need five in a stack. So it's kind of unfortunate because the pottery mechanic is actually quite challenging for me. I'm very bad at it. Uh, it seems to be also not super precise. Like sometimes I'll hit the button and it won't be in the green area and it'll give me the green check, but then sometimes I'll hit the button and it won't be in the green area and it gives me an X. So I feel like it's a, it's a little bit inconsistent from my point of view. Uh, but okay, let's focus. We're we're gonna sell the veggie juice because I'm not I'm not drinking them. We're gonna try to sell these earrings. Nobody's wanting to buy these earrings, which is wild because I think they're so much cuter than the wind up toys. But the wind up toys get picked up. We also have this pug necklace that's perfect. Um, let's see. We're still working on that washi paper. We need 30 and we have only like, what was it? 11. Um, what else can we sell? At this point, I'm just trying to sell stuff that just I don't need. <laughs> like all my squashed fish. Did we not give the Bobo's family? Oh my gosh, I don't think we did. Uh, let me, you know what? I'm gonna sell all my ramen drinks as well. And my squashed snappers. And hmm, I'm gonna save my terracotta stuff just because I want to make sure that whatever ends up coming to five first, whether it's a perfect or an average, that's what I will give and I will sell the rest later. I'm in, I'm not super hurting for money, so. Okay, welcome, welcome. Go for it, sure. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna nickel and dime folks here. Uh, let's, let's see. I wonder if opening the boximals make them a bit more valuable. Let me sell maybe just like two. Yeah. Your store is full. Oh, whoops. Hey, Granny. Oh, whoa, okay. Welcome, welcome. Go for it. Welcome, welcome. Fish toy is great. Again, all of my cool stuff isn't getting sold. I wonder if it's because my heart relationships aren't high enough, like they're too pricey that people aren't even gonna purchase them. I'm curious if that's part of the mechanic, like I've leveled up my Pokemon too much, you know? <laughs> hmm. Because yeah, it seems like nobody's buying anything at all. Not bad, yeah, see? And I, I would think that these crafts are quite, they, I, can, I can understand the squashed fish, you know, not doing so well, but there we go. Let's see, maybe we can put out some candy? Oh, it won't let me. Can I not? Let's try it again. There we go. Maybe they want cotton candy instead. There we go, cat earrings, perfect. Let's, next time, come on. I thought we were, we, I thought we were friends. That was the first time someone showed interest in the cat earrings though. Dang. Yeah, I wonder, well, that doesn't make sense because Saki, I feel like we have had, we're at full hearts. So that should, those should sell. Okay, let's do, we haven't gotten Space Rocks candy and we haven't gotten Chocolate Box, I don't think. So let's, we've got the Persimmon candy. Uh, I wanna get the fresh outfit, cause why not? Uh, we've already, I think, gotten all those treats. I am just gonna snap, oh, $24? Jeez Louise. You know what? No, I'm not gonna spend money. Ah, uh, well. I'll get five. I'll get five. Only because I feel like that's probably. 
I don't know. I don't even remember how much I need. Uh, magic kit, wowie game system. We'll probably need that for missions. Um, uh, did I get the seafood? I don't think I got the seafood ramen, so we're gonna get that to add to the museum. And then buy a few drinks, like the melon milk tea. Oh, I love melon milk tea. Disappearing ink drink. We already got the raisin bran shake. And we've already donated all those to the museum. Okay. It's wild the agents are still here even after all the all that has exchanged between us. Alright. So let's start the main event. Welcome to the main event of the night. Today is the g g g g g ghost hunt. Oh yeah, because I'm scared out of my wits. I am also without wit. <laughs> there are stuffed ghosts placed throughout the market for you to find. For every one you collect, we will award you a point. Whoever has the most points by the end of the event is this week's winner. You will have 60 seconds to collect as many stuffed ghosts as you can. So without further ado, let's -a go! I see a ghosty to my left, so we are going to make that the first one. It seems like they're in also, like we follow the same path each time. But it does seem like they are in slightly different places than... Boop, ba -da -doo, doo -doo. The lanterns in the lantern festival, as well as the flowers in the first... What is it? Flower festival. Whoa. Okay, I feel like if we can hit 20, we probably are coasting to the finish. Oh, we did hit 20. I know that there was a whole bevy of them up this way. I want to at least maybe get to 22. I think we can do it. Yes. Did we get all of them? No. There's one. Ah, oh, there was one left in there. What a ghost hunt we witnessed tonight. Let's find out who the big winner is this week, shall we? We shall. For surely shall. This week's runner up with 12 points, Miyako. And this week's winner with a grand total of 23 points, Maneko. Well done. Anything you'd like to say to the crowd? It was fun. <laughs> Oh, phew. Yay, I have a good time when other people are having a good time. Well, another successful night market in the books. Let's look forward to the next. Don't forget to come back next week for the Autumn Parade. We're done here. <laughs> Go home. <laughs> Wonderful. Okay, so we are in the final week of Autumn. We are also basically in the time period where I just have to collect so many resources. <gasps> oh my goodness. Okay, so we know we need four more ceramic bowls. So if I were to just do some quick napkin math, let me open up my notebook again. So ceramic bowls, uh, we need for blue dye two, so we need eight tuna. And for red, we need, what was it, 12. So eight and 12. The, we have enough clay, I believe. We have like 50 something clay, so we should be set as long as I can make them on the first try every time. That's where it gets nerve wracking because I'm very bad at the pottery mini game. Let me squeeze the snapper. just to see how much dye we'll get, or we'll be at. I thought I had so much tuna. I do! Oh my gosh, it was just way up here. Again, it would have been kind of nice to have a sorting functionality in the backpack just so I can see all of the things that I need in categories that make a little bit more sense to my brain. Because you can't even uh, sort them manually, which I, I would take the time to do. I wouldn't mind it. Okay, 
so we now have 12 die and we have 12 blue we have only eight red so we still need a few more red should have bought more at the market that's okay Okay, so we need four more. Blue, we're all set. And then, if do we have any black dye? We have one. And we can't squeeze any cuttlefish or anything. Okay, so we need a black dye to finish out the fancy cutlery for... Uh, our friend. So washi tape and dye are the two things that we need. So we're going to do a lot of foraging and hope that we can get it and do okay when we craft. Ah! Okay, I did do one good thing. I did do one thing. I have made the five ceramic bowls. Oh my gosh. I still haven't made all the terracotta planters. We'll need to get clay for that now, but... Thank goodness that we have been able to make these. Wow, did you make these? These are perfect for the place. Who knew you can make this kind of stuff in your little room there? Oh, here's something for you. Okay, we're getting real close to opening this place. Let me know when you're ready to put the finishing touches. We need two shop signs, okay. And I think the shop signs are mostly wood and paper. So I think I should be able to get those. Fingers crossed. Uh, I will have to... I still have the ability to do one more foray out into the world, but I do want it to be more of a mulberry bush gathering moment because I want to uh, focus on also... or not forget the hot air balloon quest. So we're going to do that. Oh, balls. Abysmal. No. Well, I do have garbage now to give. I don't have enough wood. Oh my gosh. We have so many resources to collect, y'all. <laughs> We've got so much to do. All right. The rest of the time this week until market was spent filling the museums, shaking down lots of trees, and generally trying to gather as many resources as I could to fit all the crafting quests we currently have. While it's not market day, we do have a lot of things we need to give out, so I'm going to make sure to do that because uh, we have fancy dishware. Perfect. <laughs> Let's hope this encourages people to purchase things. I can already chill our, smell our channel exploding. Here's something for you. A camera, oh dang. I don't think I can make that. We'll have to buy that at the market. Oh, excuse me. Okay, let's see, Bobo's mom, I believe. Did we not give the family portrait? I don't think we did. So let's make sure we give that. Um. Nope, we didn't. Okay, there we go. We've now maxed out Bobo's mom. You made this for me, Maneko-chan? This must go up in the shop right away. Yay! Oh, the cutest family portrait. I'm going to cry. This is my family. My loving family. Thank you so much, Maneko-chan. I'm so glad you and your dad decided to make this place your home. All right, there we go. Another maxed out. Oh, excuse me again. Oh, double yawn. Are you excited for the night market? I most certainly am. Because I think it's going to be a good one. I hope people buy things from me. <laughs> uh, we have something for our dad as well. We've got the shop signs ready. This is perfect, kiddo. Here's a little something for the hard work you did here around for us. Now let's put up this shop sign right away, shall we? We shall. Oh, I don't think I see anything. Uh, would you look at that? I think... I think we're just about ready to open. Let's check out the place and see how we're looking, shall we? We shall. <laughs> we shall. 
Oh my gosh! We get to see the inside! Maybe the sign- Oh my goodness, this is nice! So how is it? This is... good. Oh my goodness, this is- I would eat here. Oh, I'm craving ramen now. This is really darn good, Dad. Oh good! I told you we're gonna be okay here. You know that, right? Yeah. I admit, I was a little worried at first. Worried about what? Yeah, well, you know, I thought of that if we were to set some roots down here that maybe, well, it sort of felt like that we were committed to staying here and that we're not going back home. Well, we're not going home, kiddo. I know that, Dad. And I know we need to make money to survive and all that. Sure, we need the money, but it's just not that. We're here now, and if we're here and we have something of value to offer other people here, we should be doing that, right? Food is something I'm able to provide for everyone here, so this may not be our old home, and these might not be our old friends, but we're still a part of a community. This community. I'm getting a little choked up here. That's, that's fine, that's cool. And as far as I'm concerned, these people are friends and family to me. I know, Dad. I know. Dad, I'm really glad you found something to do here that you enjoy. Me too. And you seem, I mean, I hope you're enjoying yourself here too. I am. Oh, good. Yeah. Yeah. So how about another serving of a really darn good ramen? One really darn good ramen, please, my good sir. Coming right up. I like the idea of also dad finding and pursuing something he loves. I think particularly in in a lot of families, but I know growing up with a mom who's from Korea, whose life very much was like, hey, I'm gonna become a mom, become a mom to my kids, become a grandma, like, focused primarily in her role and parts in the in respect to the family. I think it's especially nice to have her be her finding other things she's interested in as my brother and I have grown up and I really want her to continue to push and find the other other thing that she's interested in. I want the chef's hat to be back on sale. <sighs> I think we still need one more set of items, but I want to deliver the washi paper because we are done with that. Oh, the tent! That's what we needed. The tent, which I should be able to make. Uh, we don't have, which that's kind of fitting. I feel like the hot air balloon is maybe more of a point of no return moment. It might not be, but it's got some sort of gravitas to it uh, that I would like to maybe hang tight until winter, especially because we are on that last day of fall. I want to enjoy the night market and, and kind of do what we need to and finish up the season here. Uh, oh, yes, and we have the terracotta planter pots, so let's deliver those. And here we are. I hope this is enough. Here we go. Oh my goodness. No, you've made them all. They're fantastic. Let's put them up, shall we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Beautiful. Oh, here's a little something for you. Uh, you've helped so much around here. I couldn't ask for anything more. I mean, if you're looking for something to do. I wouldn't mind a garden fountain to tie the place together, though. Okie dokie. Now, we have the action figures. Oh, yokai card game. Okay. What did you need? Flying fish. We have not seen any flying fish since, we, since we've been fishing, honestly. Okay, so let's do our first foray out into the world. Uh, I am going to, because we haven't in a long time, gone to the cat farm. We're going to do some cat farm hairball picking. <laughs> and then we'll be in the final night market of autumn. We had a bit of a sticky point. I think, again, the... I've 
don't know if also I'm trying to like push faster than the game necessarily would like for me to, but I felt like there was a little bit of sticking point in this final week only in terms of getting the clay needed and the fish needed, but perhaps that's just because of where my resources sat that those are just the specific things I needed like if I hadn't crafted a bunch of stuff that used those materials maybe I would have been better set up and if you're playing maybe you're like oh I had all this stuff had no problem with the final week of fall but definitely the final week of fall was maybe the stickiest for me in terms of feeling like I was making progress versus kind of grinding and having it slow down a little bit at the same time, I do feel like if I look at as a whole the game, we made really good progress. Even in the moments I felt it was kind of sticky and slower, uh, it's comparatively slower, not not bad at all by any means. Again, I think this is a game where, in general, as players, you're meant to get into a routine. You're meant to flow 39 hairballs. I think that's a new record. I don't I've never gotten 40. I think 38 has been my sort of go-to record for the last couple times. That's cool. So let's do our final night market of the autumn. Now we've got a parade. And I don't anticipate the parade being too different, but who knows? Oh, wait. The night market guy wasn't out here. Is it not night market day? Oh, it's not. Oh my gosh, I'm ahead of schedule? What? Well, that means I got a little time to craft a hank the toe. I'm gonna craft the tent. Make sure we've got what we need. And then I'll do the hank, the hunk tote, because Granny Franny has a crush. Or at least very much appreciates Hank and all he's done for the village. Tent is ready. Again, we're gonna save that. I don't want to activate the hot air balloon until afterwards. Let's do the Hank the Hunk tote bag. Whoa! Oh, that does not look great. But that's okay. We're only giving one. It doesn't have to be perfect. Uh, it just has to be a decent looking tote bag. <laughs> look, Granny Franny will judge me harshly, I'm sure. Uh, she seems to have high standards. Let's do hmm, a magic cape. Those were always popular sellers uh, at the night market. And I'd love to have at least a decent, I don't know, a couple things sell. It feels like we've had a, we have had a rough go of it this fall. And again, I don't know if that's because my like heart level wasn't matched with what people wanted and that's the thing that was kind of keeping me from making sales or what but so I need two black dye because that flower painting there's a person at the dock who wants the flower painting so let me see if I've got something I can squeeze for some <laughs> black dye <laughs> okay looks like I can beautiful so let's do that painting And there's one person looking for a chef's hat. I know that the granny had it, and I don't know if I just need to buy the fedora to kind of get it out of the loop of items. Or if it'll eventually turn back up, but. Okay, let's go deliver this, go to the docks. Hey, dad's home. Now that the shop's open, he's not having to work all the time. Uh, he gets to come home in the evenings. <laughs> I feel like he hasn't been home in ages. So let's go to the docks. The dock. I guess there's just one. And uh, hopefully Granny will be there. We can buy the fedora. I'm sure someone else will need it. So we might as well buy it. We have the money. And hopefully again, that'll unlock the chef's hat so it can go back being, no, Granny's not here. Oh, dang it. Shucks. Well, we can still give the painting. 
Oh, how exquisite! Such stunning brushwork that truly encapsulate the cuteness of the cat. With such fine talent on this island, it definitely warrants a greater stay here. I've heard they're accepting new residents in the village. I must apply immediately. Thank you for sharing your artwork with me. I anticipate crossing, crossing paths again very soon. Wonderful. So we have our first new villager coming in. And since we are here, I'm just going to grab a few hairballs. I've been fishing so much, I, I think I'm kind of fished out. <laughs> I don't think I want to fish right now. So we may not totally deplete our stamina, which is against everything I've said thus far playing the game. But that's okay. Sometimes you don't need to just completely wear yourself out. I feel like there's a life lesson in there. We've done, we've done good. Pretty darn good ramen, pretty darn good last couple of weeks. I think, I mean, golly, I kind of feel like maybe, especially, well, maybe it's not a point of no return. Let's do the hot air balloon tomorrow. Oh, and we have the grand opening, actually, of the ramen shop. So we do need to go to that, too. So we, we've got some busy things happening. <gasps> Night market day! So let's go to the grand opening of our ramen shop. Super excited. And then from there, let's go on the hot air balloon if it lets me. If it, oh, hey dad. Today's the day, kiddo. It is. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't a little bit nervous. It's been a while since I did this kind of thing, so hopefully I still got it. You got this, Dad. We got this, Pinecone Head. <laughs> well, shall we? We shall. Oh, cute. Everyone's here! Whoa, what's going on here? Is there another emergency? Yeah, there is. We're hungry. We're so excited to see a new restaurant opening here. Nothing ever opens here. What am I gonna try? What am I gonna try? I can't wait. Well, I, you're so, you're all here. Wow. What time are you opening? Uh oh, well, now. Woo, yay. Congratulations, dad. This place is a hit. Well, I guess we better open, huh? The people demand it. Oh, do I get to run restaurant orders, perhaps? Is this another mini game? Wishful thinking. Everything was delicious, Maneko's dad. Wasn't it, Bobo? Huh? Oh yeah, everything was dope. And? Huh? Oh, yeah. Thank you, Maneko's dad. <laughs> For the food. You're welcome. I'm glad you all enjoyed everything. We're all so lucky that you decided to move here. <laughs> yeah, you're welcome. I mean, no problem. Or, uh, oh, is there a little, like, is there a little romance happening here? Is there a little flirtation? I didn't want to put them together just because they were the two single parents of the village, but maybe, perhaps? You're saying we're happy to be here, right, Dad? Of course I am. We, as in you and me, we're both, yeah. yeah. We're happy to be here. Well, uh, I better get back to my shop. Yeah, and Minex, we better get back to... Uh, get back to running around and not causing any trouble. Wink, wink. <laughs> well, that sounds like a load of fun. Thank you for bringing the family, Bobo's mom. Oh, we'll definitely be back. Great. See you all soon. Real soon, I hope. Again, I don't want to put them together just because they're the two single parents... And Maneko and Bobo are best friends, but wouldn't it be cute? Well, I guess I'm going to be quite busy here during the day now. But you can come talk to me anytime. You know that. Oh, you should take some food for the road. <gasps> Dad's ramen and a Maneko bowl! Oh my gosh. 
Dad will give you a food item once every day at Dad's ramen shop. Oh, that's cool. All this rain must be good for the flowers. That's really nice. Okay. I will keep this first one, but I would love to octopus sign. Sure, why not? <laughs> I'll get it. Um, I'd love to, man, I'd love to have a ramen shop, dad. Be able to go and just eat ramen every day. All right, let's deliver this tent and see about going to Mount Fuku. Donate tent. Great work, kiddo. That's everything. Let's set this hot air balloon up right away. Here we go. Oh my god, it's so cute. <laughs> oh, jeez. Now that is one fine balloon. It looks perfect. Well, what's the holdup? You better fly on over there, Hank, before it's too late. Me? It should be Mineko. Huh? Yeah, it has to be Mineko. Oh, this is too dangerous for Mineko. This is surely a job for one of the adults. I, I can do it. Mineko, I don't know if that's a good... I got this, Dad. Oh, I don't know, Mineko-chan. Mama! Nico appeared for Mineko. He chose her. She's the only one that can do this. You don't even know how to fly a hot air balloon. I mean, I don't exactly have flying experience, but... Did someone say flying experience? <laughs> Ace pilot flying tango re tango reporting for duty. What's a flying tango? That's what they used to call me back in the day when I flew planes for the country. I haven't flown in ages, but I thought it'd be poetic if I showed up to fly the balloon. You know, like a flying tango takes to the skies again type of thing. Oh, you were trying to have a moment. Cool, yeah. You should fly the balloon, be your tango whatever thing. Anyway. Oh, anyway. I'll get you there safe, Ace. So I guess we're doing this. Please, be very careful, Mo. We got this. Come talk to me when you're ready to head out, young ace. Cool, so this is gonna work, I, I imagine, kind of like the bus system, maybe between the two. Oh, ready to head to Mafu. Let's say not quite, actually. I wanna do, let's do the night market. Uh, just, just in case, the final night market. I don't know, something about going to Mount Fuku seems so final. <laughs> so I think what I want to do is finish out the night market. Just because we're right there. We're right there. So close. Let's do Birch Forest. I haven't gotten paper in a long time. Alrighty. It is now final. Whoa. We'll wait. It is time. The final night market of autumn is here. It is looking more packed than ever. I don't see a camera for sale, not yet. So welcome, welcome to the fourth night market of autumn. This week's night market main event is the Autumn Cat Parade. My oh my, oh my. Make sure to stop by the stage before the end of the night to catch the cat parade. Now go, shop, eat, play, enjoy, and anyone interested in participating will come to the main stage. Yes, we do know the drill. Now, just for the heck of it, let's sell some blind boxes. Let's sell some pottery. Uh, I do have some garbage to try and dispose of, which is kind of exciting. Oh, I forgot to give Granny Franny the, um, Hank the Hunk stuff. Let's see, we'll bring that up, up, up. I have other things, like this perfect punk bangle, these amazing boys bracelet, the wind-up fish toy that seemed to always, always get sold. Uh, let's do the magic cape. And we've got two more items that we can sell. I thought I gave the tent up. Maybe, maybe I didn't. Maybe I had two tents. Pug necklace. And what else? Let's sell, I don't know, a couple of, a few diamonds. That seems, that seems expensive and cool. One magic cape, here we go. 
Let's fill that with... Uh... I don't know. Lobster. Call customers. Oh. Box mo boxes? Alright, go for it. So, three diamonds. Alright. For a steal, it seems like. Welcome, welcome. Oh, don't want the veggie juice. Okay. Uh, welcome, welcome. Fun. Let's see. I've had fun looking. So, again, I think some of these are just out of the interest or price of the, the relationships that I have with folks. Two veggie juice. All right. Sold. Perfect. Lobster. Oh, Daisuke, come on. Oh, well, that's good. Chica paid more than Daisuke was going to anyways, I think. All right. We won't have leveled up, but at least we will have gained a little experience, which did not happen last week, so that's good. Uh, we've bought all those treats. We've gotten all those. Let's see. Ooh. These look delish. Okay, let's do the Mount Fubu special ramen. Let's see. I think I've gotten those. Oh, right. We need to get the raccoon donut for my friend. The creepy crepe. Oh, wait, no, I've gotten the steam bowl cut. Uh, let's see. I thought someone needed an action figure, but I'm kind of forgetting. I feel like my friend will want a yokai action figure at some point. So I'll just get that in advance. All right, I think it's time for the parade. The final parade of the season. I think we'll be able to rock it. If memory serves, we did great on the last two. Okay, oh, so cute. So we're gonna be going into the parade. And I'm ready. Left, right, play. I think the one element I would love is because the parade event, or not the parade, the night market events have stayed the same each month, which I think is okay. I don't mind that they're the same because it's nice to have an idea of what's gonna happen and be able to mentally prep. I do wish there was slight more variation to those events, like either growing in challenge, uh, change in, like I think what I did like was, um, like instead of hunting for flowers, you hunt for ghosties, you light the lantern. I thought that variation was really cute. I appreciated that. Uh, the parade, I kind of wish we had slight variation either in the song that even that was playing would be kind of fun. Or even some of the other participants. I can understand why they didn't. Again, it's a, a matter of saving the assets, you know, kind of saving time. Or having maybe different commands, like instead of uh, a parade, maybe we have like a, a candy that we throw to kids or like different sort of actions for the parade. I think that would be kind of cute as well. God, that cat is hilarious. I love that cat so much. The way it just like bangs on the drum with no thoughts in its head is so cute. All right, we are in the home stretch once again. I see my dad, so I know that means we're almost done. We have one more final stop. Again, wild. Wild that the agents think they can come to the night market and still hang out with us after everything that's been happening. All right, the finale. 
the grand finale is happening right now. I would love to know what the host, night market host, looks like without the hat. <laughs> Does he just have regular hair? Dun, 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 dun. Yay! Well, well, now what did you think of that parade? That's right, people liked it. The crowd has spoken. The parade was a massive hit. Great job, kids. I knew it could count on... What the heck? <laughs> Every season, he's surprised. Another successful night market in the books. Don't forget to come back next week for more surprises. Go, leave, we're done here. <laughs> and we got our final trophy of the season. Hell yeah. <sighs> okay, now will there be snow outside? That's the big question. Will there be snow outside when winter finally hits Mount Fuku? I'm hoping. I hope we'll be able to look out the window and see. I think that would be really cool. But who knows? Who knows? I love the changing of seasons in games like this. Winter year one. And it's snowing! Oh my gosh, it's the first day of winter and it's snowing. Couldn't ask for anything more. I'm so excited. Uh, that is where we'll stop for today. Next video will be the first half of winter. I'm so excited. Because we're also going to be going up in a hot air balloon to Mount Fugu. That's going to be pretty dang cool. Uh, again, thank you for joining me on this journey through Maneko's Night Market. Uh, let me know how you've been enjoying it. If you've been playing it, I've loved hearing some of your experiences, whether they're more like, oh, I'm not able to figure this out, or oh, I'm really liking this element, or <clears throat> excuse me, anything in between. Uh, it's, it's always fun to just get to talk with other folks who are playing the game at the same time or who are playing the game even though maybe I've posted a video a little bit ago and you're just now getting into it. It's always, I don't know, it's nice to share those experiences and that's why I create content in general, to be able to share talking about games with other people because, I don't know, it's just way more fun that way. Um, I hope y'all if you like this content, find me on other platforms like TikTok and Twitch. I stream regularly. Currently streaming Sea of Stars. I'll be putting up the VODs as a Let's Play. Eventually, I want to get a little bit of a backlog going just so that can be kind of a, a sort of, a, what is it, backup if I ever can't post on a certain day. I used to have a good backlog of videos for a rainy day and don't anymore. So right now I'm kind of just going one video, one day at a time, uh, since I do this on top of my full-time work in the industry. Um, and if y'all want to really, really dive deep into games, uh, visit geeksandgrounds.com. It's the game club that I host. It's basically a book club, but for video games. This month we are playing, this month of October 2023, we are playing Bramble the Mountain King. Uh, if you're able to pick it up, you can hop in, play, talk with us about the game. There's a newsletter you can sign up for at geeksandgrounds.com, and that's like the hub for all the discussion and questions. Um, but also, if you aren't able to pick up the game, that is one that I have a playthrough, a full playthrough of on the channel. And you can always look up any other one playthroughs, but you know, if you wanted to watch a playthrough, it, there's one here. And you can always watch it and still participate in the discussion. It's not a requirement that you have to have the game or have to have even like played it yourself. If you've watched it, you understand the themes of what's going on, you just want to join in the discussion, please feel free. Uh, it's meant to be more of a way to not simply discuss the game, but discuss other elements of the game that integrate with maybe more of what we actually live in our daily lives. Um, and with Bramble, we're talking a lot about folk tales, fairy tales, what we grew up with, what we remember, and it's been really fun. So yeah, that's it. I will hopefully see you in the next video. Uh, have a wonderful day or night wherever you are. Find lots of indie games to play, and yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye!